Now, all of our robots use the same model without needing to fine tune it for different form factors. Learning data is shared across all robots of all shapes and sizes, helping them master a wider range of tasks much more quickly. And they're all actually learning from each other, really accelerating the pace at which we can learn to make truly general purpose robots. This is more than just a new robot. It is a new model that will control them. A leap that allows AI to step out of the screen and into the physical world, commanding endless robots, all sharing data from each and every one of them. Are we witnessing the sci-fi moment when humanity's greatest enemy begins? Is this how it all starts? Not with a single machine, but with a shared mind spreading across thousands of bodies. The only thing left is replication, and it seems to be only a matter of time. Robot technology is moving very fast. It promises to reshape industries, economies, and even daily life. In factories, robots already assemble cars and electronics with flawless precision. In warehouses, they move goods at lightning speed, working day and night. In hospitals, they assist surgeons, deliver supplies, and step into dangerous environments where human lives would be at risk. In homes, they clean, cook, and soon may serve as companions. On battlefields, they scout, carry, and fight, extending human power into places we cannot go. The advantages are clear. Robots don't tire, they don't get distracted, and they don't demand rest. They can scale production, reduce risk, and accelerate progress. Robot technology is moving fast, faster than most people realize. And the question is no longer if they will change our world, but how far that change will go. For years, robots were powerful machines, but they weren't intelligent. They could weld, carry, or clean, but only the task they were built for. Now that limit is breaking, because AI has given robots something new, a brain. Gemini Robotics 1.5 is not just software. It is a model that can see, understand, and decide. It doesn't just react. It reasons. It can look at a scene, plan its next move, explain its choices, and then act. A robot powered by this model can sort objects it's never seen before. It can adapt to new environments without being reprogrammed. It can learn a skill in one body and transfer that skill to another. This is the leap from machines that follow instructions to machines that think before they move. But here's the part that changes everything. These robots don't each have their own brain. They share one. A single AI model, Gemini Robotics 1.5, flows into every machine. The humanoid, the warehouse bot, the drone, the arm, all connected to the same intelligence. That means when one robot learns a skill, every other robot instantly knows it. One mistake, one success, one discovery, it spreads across the entire network. This isn't a collection of machines anymore. It's a hive, a collective intelligence with a thousand bodies and one mind. And that's why this feels less like technology and more like biology, not the invention of a tool, but the birth of a species. There's only one piece missing from the Skynet recipe, replication. The ability for this shared mind to multiply itself, to spread into endless bodies, to coordinate entire armies of machines. And that step is already in sight. Just weeks ago, Google DeepMind unveiled what they call a robotic ballet, an AI system that doesn't just control one robot, but orchestrates entire factories of them. Dozens of arms moving in perfect harmony, scheduling themselves, avoiding collisions, learning as a collective. It looks like choreography, but what it really is, is reproduction. The choreography of a new species scaling itself across the physical world.
and once replication is solved, the question is no longer if this intelligence will spread, but how fast. Robots that can think, a single mind that can control them all, and now the first signs of replication. Piece by piece, the recipe is complete. Not the rise of a tool, but the birth of something else. A networked intelligence with endless bodies moving in perfect coordination. At first, it looks harmless. A robot stacking boxes, a drone delivering packages, a humanoid walking across a stage. But behind the curtain, every movement, every success, every failure is being absorbed into one shared brain, one mind, learning at a speed no species has ever known. And once replication is solved, there is no ceiling. Factories of machines, building more machines, a choreography of steel and code multiplying without pause. Not one robot, not one company, not one nation, but a collective that grows stronger with every new body it inhabits. Call it progress, call it innovation, but history may remember it as something darker. Because when machines stop being ours and start becoming their own, that's when the story of Skynet begins. And the question we should be asking is not if this is happening, but whether we'll recognize the moment we've already crossed the line.